All right, today I am here with a quick haul from Planner Kate featuring the July kits and the new Week at a Glance page and compact vertical kit, so let's get into it. Hello everyone, I'm Sherry of Sherry's Plants and I share my planner reviews, ideas, and inspirations here on YouTube and on Instagram and Facebook, so check those out. The links will be in the description of this video. And today I am excited to share. I got my Planner Kate haul for the July kit, but I also wanted to show you guys the new Week at a Glance page for the Daily Duo kits and the new Compact Vertical kit. So let's take a look at them here. Okay, so I wanna show you guys the July kits, um, the sheets that I use, and then we're gonna look at the new Compact Vertical kits that came out um, that were just released with this July release, and then um, the Week at a Glance. I have all those here for you. So let's go ahead and take a look. I, let me see what I have here. Okay, so I purchased four of the five kits that Planner Kate had and it was tough to like narrow it down. Sometimes I don't love every design that comes out so I don't buy a kit for every week from Planner Kate but I don't know why but July I absolutely like loved all of the designs so it was really hard for me to like narrow it down but this was quite a big haul for me and I essentially bought kits for three different planners and because that's because I'm undecided if I want to continue using the vertical 7x9 for my weekly planner or if I want to switch to the compact vertical for my weekly planning, like solely go to which to one or the other for my weekly planning. So let me show you guys what I got here. Okay, first up, I have mini kit number 433. This kit is called Vacation, and this is the sampler sheet. So let me actually let me try to sort these out here really quick. Okay, so this is the sampler sheet, and what I have purchased with the sampler sheet, this would, I, would be what I would use in my 7x9 planner, a uh, vertical planner, and I, so I purchased the individual date headers, and I purchased the basic labels. And so I always purchase the individual date headers because I always redate my planner to have a Sunday start. So whether I'm using this in my, well, I'm currently using this in my um, hourly, but by July I will be in my vertical um, but I always buy the individual headers because I redate it to have a Sunday start so but I, I bought just basically a few more labels I found that like um, this is probably what I use the most often I sometimes buy like the thick washi but I think I just kind of um, decided against that I have so much washi tape too that I want to make sure that I'm using so I'm sure I can find some coordinating washi that matches with this stuff so that was kind of my thought there I also purchased for my a5 daily duo so this is the header sheet and then this is the top boxes with the checklist and I love that it comes with some of the half hour and the hour long um, time boxes here is because I probably use these two sizes the most uh, this is the new Week at a Glance page, so this will now fit on that blank lined page after after each Sunday. So this will now fit on that page, and then I picked up the time labels add-on and then the two-tone labels. And what I did was, usually I don't buy this sheet, but what I like is that both of these actually fit really well in the new compact vertical so whatever i don't use on this i can use in my compact vertical and then these are the new compact vertical sheets so i have sheet one and sheet two and i'll go ahead and lay one of these out here at the end so you can kind of see what it looks like um, as an example in the compact vertical so there's sheet one it has some date headers it has a box here that's going to cover up the empty box at the bottom some washi at the top some um thin washi and then like i said these two-tone labels fit perfectly in that as well so you got like some timed labels and some two-tone labels here some smaller flags you do have some timed washi which is nice and then this right here to-do list and tracker will fit nicely inside of this box on that last page so i'll show you what that looks like uh, laid out at the end so this next kit is mini kit 432 this is called nautical so again i have the sampler page here and then i have the individual date headers and the basic labels to go with that as well my weekly planning i have for my a5 daily duo i have the headers page i have the top boxes with checklists the week at a glance page 
and then a sheet of the time labels and the two-toned labels there as well. And then I have both sheets of the compact vertical kit. Okay, and then this is kit 431, and this is called It's Summer. So really quick, the main difference between a kit and a mini kit is the kit pages, you're gonna find this design available for the monthly kits as well as the budget trackers in Planner Kate shop. Whereas the mini kits, those won't be available as monthly kits or as um, the budget kits, but you can almost find every other page of weekly kits and then the um, add-ons available in all of these designs. So this is kit 431 called It's Summer. And I think I really like the colors and the popsicles. I'm not a big floral fan, but I do like the colors on this kit and the popsicles and everything. So again, I have the weekly sampler page, the individual date covers, and then the basic labels. And then for the A5 daily kit, I have the headers page, the top boxes with checklists. Like I said, one reason that I really like to buy this is just to have like everything really coordinating and the fact that you get extra half hour and hour long labels on this page and some thin washi. That's why I really like to pick up this page as well. And then this is the week at a glance page. And then I have the time labels and the two toned basic labels as well. And these all have usable washi strips on the side that coordinate with the kit as well. So I think that's really cute. And then this is the compact vertical kit here. And I have sheet one and sheet two. Okay, and the last kit that I have here is kit 430. This is called the fourth. And I love this design and the colors, of course. This would be great for the July kit. So again, this one will come in the uh, monthly kit and the budget kit as well. So this is the weekly sampler page, the individual date covers, and then the basic labels. And then for the A5 size, we have um, the date headers here. I love this these sunglasses and then like this uh, strip right here. I love those so much. So we have the date covers and then I have the top boxes with checklists. I have the week at a glance page and then the time labels and the two-toned labels. And then I have both sheets one and sheets two here for the compact vertical kit. So that's what they look like there. The washi on this kit too is really super cute. I love like this, uh, like both of these washies right here are super cute. So that was my planner Kate haul. Let me show you guys really quick an example of what this compact vertical kit is gonna look like laid out in your planner. All right, so here is a quick example of some of the stickers from the Compact Vertical kit laid out in the new Compact Vertical. And what I love about using this kit right here is you couldn't even tell that this is actually October's page that I'm repurposely repurposing and using right now. This is October 2023, and you wouldn't be able to tell except for where it's at here in the tab. But it covers up all of the orange, so you don't see any of that. Um, and covers up the month there at the top. So uh, this is perfect, really. So here's what it looks like. Let me flip this open here and show you this. So that top washi strip covers this up perfectly. I love the date headers, the way they fit in there and like the brush stroke look of it, it's perfect. So what I did is I laid out some of the two-tone labels here and some of the timed labels. Now, like I said, these um, really are similar to what the labels are for let me find the matching kit here these are really similar to the size labels from the um, a5 daily duo kits like i'm gonna lay this on top of it and see if they're the exact same but i'm pretty sure they are like they're the exact same size as um the timed labels and then the two-toned labels from the daily duo kit so if you are going to be using the compact vertical and this these have a lot of two-tone labels and a lot of timed labels but if you want more of one or the other you can buy the add-ons from the a5 daily duo kits and they're gonna fit in here like the exact same size so just a little pro tip there for you so these are what the timed labels this is the like a half hour long and an hour long timed label are and these are the timed labels this is an hour long and a half hour long here so 
that's what that looks like there's a the little stars hearts and flags i love these doodles a lot and i love that we get so many of them in this kit so let's see and these are the small flags here this is kind of what they're going to look like and i think this would be perfect if you put like a to-do sticker up here and had your checklist and you can definitely short shorten this checklist if you didn't need all of these boxes here but that's how they fit Oh, there's also the time sheet, so it's gonna go from eight to six, perfectly lined up here in your um, in this box. So if you want to use the times, there are, so there's one for every day of the week, so you can definitely make that work. Um, depending on your writing, you might be able to like use half of this for like your timed stuff and then put your stuff on the other side. Maybe, I don't know, but like these, two-tone labels if you use them with the time strips would cover it so this would be like an hour long you could do something like that or this would be like a two hour long time strip on this time strip here but these in the daily duo these are a half hour and an hour but it could look something like like that if you wanted it to okay and then this box down here at the end so what i like is this box is actually two stickers. Another thing that I love is how removable Planner Kate stickers are. These are so easy to remove and reuse. So what I like is that this kit comes with them as two separate stickers so that you can, if you don't want the tracker on there, you don't have to use it. You can just put like a decorative box there use it for something else if you have some other trackers you're using or putting the weather on or a meal plan or whatever you want to use for the week you could do that or you can add this sticker in right here that has a to-do list with a small tracker on here so that right there is just an example of how you can use the compact vertical kit in your planners and each of these sheets for the compact vertical um i believe were 550 each usually her full sheets are 550 and then the smaller sheets um i think like depending on what sheet it is like the price changes and then like the add-ons like the smaller add-ons here are um so like these um two-toned and time label sheets here are 350 these uh headers and box labels are a dollar 50 each so but if you use my discount code sherry you get 20 percent off every order it is an affiliate link so when you do use that order or that code when you order i do receive a small commission from planner kate so but it helps me out a lot and it saves you money too so that's awesome Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.